Welcome everybody, it's Prime Excellence and today I have a story for you guys. Have you ever gotten sick and you had specific symptoms and you was wondering what the hell was wrong with you when you were visiting the doctor's office? Well in this case that's exactly what happened to a 16 year old girl named Isabel Kate. Isabel was fine health wise until one day she was suffering from moderate headaches. She attempted to relieve her pain but nothing worked. One day, alongside her mother, she visited her family physician. The doctors observed her symptoms and concluded that she probably had a cold and sent her a long way. Not knowing, only days later after the visit, she passed away. Isabel's heart rate was exceeding 139 beats per minute, but her vitals remained normal. So after the failure of her original doctor's visit, she included went to another doctor's visit experiencing symptoms of headaches, neck pain, her eyes were drooping, and as she was waiting in the waiting area, she passed out. As the floor doctors nearby saw that her health was rapidly deteriorating, they sent her to the critical care unit. Oh, he's so fucking stupid. No, really, is it that hard to observe a sick child? I've heard that physicians fail to diagnose patients or fail to take any action at all. Now, if we're spending this amount of money on a visit, at the bare minimum, we should get the best care possible. Antibiotics, those proven to treat meningitis, was administered to Isabel. Despite the physician's best attempts, on March 31st at midnight, she passed away. So let's fast forward to November of this year at her memorial event. Isabel's parents expressed concerns regarding her two doctor visits before her death. I hope I'm not butchering her name, but an area corner named Kate Bassett explained to us that she had meningitis, which caused her to develop cephas, and she had no prior symptoms up until this point. Now it's funny because you can look at a child or some person and say, hey, that person looks sick. Let's help her. Critical care consultant named Richard Benson concludes that he had never seen a person decline so rapidly as Isabel did. He also says that any antibiotics or treatments prior to or after her treatment would have included the same result and outcome of her death. Isabel acquaintances and educators have deducted that she was an exceptionally intelligent individual, passionate about art, and well-liked among her peers. Her community was shocked by her death as well, and additionally, students at her school donated over $2,000 to the UK Cephas Trust. If you want to donate to the trust, I will provide a link inside of the description of the video if you wish to do so. Keep in mind, she was 16 years old at the time of this incident. Now, it should give you concern that you should live your life to the the best of your ability and please just be nice to people <laughs> like really just try to be nice because you never know what would happen but yeah it's like another clear example on how the medical field can just fail a person not even checking to see if a person's like sick sick oh you just you have droopy eyes anything like that oh you just have a cold and then the person die much later but anywho sorry to be so depressing but uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and this is Prime Excellence. Peace.